here at the jetties uh, it's boiling hot out here uh, we are going to do another video out here in the jetties but mostly we're going to concentrate on explaining what exactly we're doing and how we're doing it because a lot of you guys are asking how to fish the jetties basically and we're going to start off by showing you guys that so i like using these corks outcast they have a weight at the bottom so it gives you the advantage of launching it as far as you want We'll start off by doing a knot straight through the braid straight to the braid. We're gonna go ahead and tie this on. Just like so. Make sure it's secure. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut that tag off. Using Seaguard 20 pound fluorocarbon. Grab about, let's say, an easy way to not waste your fishing line. I usually just go on and tie it on there first for cutting it from the spool. So we're gonna tie it on here straight where the other knot was from the braided. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna do a one, two, three four five twist just like so they're both gonna be tied on the same swivel we'll cut this tag off alrighty guys so now what are we gonna do it's, so we won't waste any fishing line we're gonna go ahead and start reeling till our Jetty cork hits the top of our rod. Once it hits the top, we're gonna bring it down probably about this much where your reel is gonna be sitting at. That's reasonable. That's about just a little bit over six foot. We're gonna go ahead and cut this. Now that we got our about six and a half foot of leader, we're gonna tie on a size 10 treble hook. You guys can see that. Four, four twists to the loop out through the loop cinch that down cut the tag off from here on on you're basically almost done all we're gonna do is take a small split shot I usually put it about a foot Split shot, you go ahead and just crimp the split shot. Should be see. You'll be all done. It's gonna be our rig, guys, for the live shrimp. Question I get asked a lot is how far down do I go down the jetties? Or how do I know if I fish Quintana or surf side? I usually choose the side that the wind is in my favor. So this, so like right now we're getting a, a west wind straight from that side, coming straight into the this south surf side jetty so that's why i choose the surf side jetty but if the winds are coming from the east really strong then i'll definitely go over to the cantana to fish the surf but how far down we just go down as far as we can guys as long as we're not surrounded by a lot of people especially on this time of year but yeah guys quick tip guys use a small shrimp not too large of a shrimp because the ship had have a small mouth and I mean, if they don't buy it in one spot, move over, try a different spot. If you see such structure underneath the water, such as rocks, they like to lay on those rocks that are deeper down the water. But try staying real close to the rocks. Yeah, guys. Smaller shrimp, close to the rocks. Move over a couple feet, a couple yards, try a different spot. If they're not there, they're gonna be somewhere else. That's a sheep's head right there. It's got to be a sheep's head. Nice. 
perceives him. That's what I'm talking about, guys. First keeper of the day. <laughs> That's a keeper right there. There you go, folks. Keeper sheep's head. 14, 15. And there goes my girls right there. Six inch. Put this one on the stringer and we're going to take it home. My girl just caught a speckled trout. Measure it, babe, to see how big it is. If it's a keeper, we're going to keep it. Let's see, and it is a perfect 16 incher. We're gonna be keeping that one, guys. That's gotta be a spec, guys. Definitely. Give me the bogo pick. Small, not that big. I'm just get. I'm just gonna get close. Speck or trout. Don't worry about it. It's a keeper. Looks like a keeper, don't it? Bad. Yeah. Let's measure this bad girl and we'll see if she keeps. Oh, you keep them on there. So this one it measures uh, 16, guys, 15 and a half. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep it. Alrighty, second keeper. Right after you said, how come I'm hugging you? Right? Where there's one, there's gotta be more. We got the knife, we got the plastic bags. I'm gonna chop up these fish, put them in the Ziploc bag, take them home. Yeah, stay tuned. Got a solid bag of fresh fillets. Heading out. See you guys in the car. Well, guys, till next time. Today was supposed to be a video of a little bit more explaining what we do out here on the jetties. Just really can't do much about it but throw a cork right against the rocks, right? Mm -hmm. Let it drift with the current. If there's current, uh, try to get as close as you can to the rocks. You might even snag a speckled trout like we did today. We snagged two of them. Mm -hmm. Well, she snagged like three, huh? But two of them were not keepers. Or just. No, just. One of them wasn't a keeper, but mm -hmm. yeah, guys, you just never know what you're going to catch at the jetties. We got a, a nice bag of meat in here. We're going to cook it up once we get home, but that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking along. Peace.